Hello, my little peanuts. The 2014 American Music Awards are only 10 days away. I'm Lance Bass, and this is AMA's On Demand. Today, an mtv -er who's anything but fake is in the house. Please welcome the fabulous actor-singer, Michael Willett. Michael, what's going on, my man? All kinds, happy to be here. Now, Faking It is in its second season, so congrats on that. Thank you. How's everything going on set? It's great. It's like a fun, like, summer camp. Nice. Yeah. What's the music like going? Um, it's kind of groovy yeah. and epic, so. Sweet. Yeah. Can't wait to hear it. Sweet. All right, and uh, speaking of music, we got super superstars performing on the stage. It's going to be Fergie, One Direction, Charlie XCX, and Selena. Gomez, out of all those, who's your favorite? Um, I'm excited to hear from Fergie because it's yeah. been a while. It has been yeah. a little while. She's been mommy for a little while, but now we got you back. The 2014 American Music Awards are just around the corner. Michael, if there was an actor slash singer category, who would you give the award to this year? Um, I think Justin Timberlake is always a good example of that, but also Taylor Swift has like three movies out. Yeah, yeah. both doing great this year. <laughs> now, have you voted for your favorites? I can vote. Uh, yeah, you can. Remember to cast these votes, music lovers. To vote, go online to amavote.com or on Twitter. Just include three things in one tweet. The category name, the artist name you want to win, and the hashtag AMA. It's as simple as that. All right, oh, what is that noise? That means it's time for a pop four. Are you ready for your first challenge of the day? Yeah. All right, here we go. This week we asked, whose outfit is most likely to slay the red carpet? All right, list four artists and your reasons. Ugh, well, I'm always in love with Gwen Stefani's style, so her. Um, I think Beyonce, everyone loves Beyonce. Beyonce, uh-huh. I love Rihanna, and I don't know, Nicki Minaj is bound to shock people. Uh, you better believe it. All right, let's see what our fashion fans thought. 6% thought that Taylor Swift would cause fad trouble on the red carpet. Sexy Sam Smith had 27% of our fashion fans' predictions. Didn't even think he'd be on the list at all. Another 27% envisioned One Direction being a chic ensemble. And our red carpet fashionista winner goes to country star Luke Bryan with 40% of the fans' predictions. I didn't get any of them. All right, you guys at home, don't forget to check in with the AMAs on Facebook and Twitter to vote for the last pop four next week. I have a question of my own for you. You're single, what's the name of it? Start it over. Start it over. All right, now that you're into music, will you ever do the full transformation from acting to music full time? Um, I don't think so. I feel like, you know, I'm a very creative person and music has always been a part of what I do and so I can't just pick one. Yeah, I feel like they feed each other. They right? do, definitely. Kind of put one side of the brain to rest, to do the other. Yeah. It's nice, it keeps you all balanced, I like it. Absolutely. Now you did a great job in the Jovies that you made. Let's check out the best ones that were sent in. I'm red carpet ready, now give me your best red carpet pose. Wicked, the 2014 American Music Awards are ready for you. <laughs> Those were so fun. <laughs> Those are so great. All right, keep the videos coming, meet us on Jovi. It's time for another game, fact or fiction. Are you ready to play with me, Michael? So ready. Here we go, I'm gonna give you three truths and a lie about myself. You'll have to guess which one is the lie. Okay. All right, one, I trained to go to space with the Russians, but I never went. All right. I once performed with the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. All right. I was the voice of Simba in The Lion King, and I recently executive produced a documentary entitled Kidnapped for Christ. Uh, which one's the lie? I don't think you're the voice of Simba. Uh, I wish I were. But you know me very well, Michael. Very impressed. Let's see if you know these people as well as you know me. We have one final game. Whose name is it anyway? You have to match the faces with their real names. So let's begin. All right, we have Lana Del Rey, Katy Perry, Lord, Iggy Azalea, and Lady Gaga. The five last names are Hudson, Yellick O'Connor, Kelly, Germanata, and Grant. Michael, whose name is it anyway? Match those up. Oh boy, okay. The one that sounds most Italian is Germanata, so I'm gonna say that's Lady Gaga. Okay. I think O'Connor is Lord? Yeah. I think she's Swedish or something? Sure, I'll go with that. And then Lana Del Rey, uh, Kelly, maybe? Who else is there? Uh, I got Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea. I, uh, her last name is Grant, I suppose. And then Katy Perry. Hudson. Let's see if you guessed these right. 64% guessed that Elizabeth Woolridge Grant is the young and beautiful Lana Del Rey. Ah, see, you learned something today. 91% oh, yeah. called out Lord's royal name, Ella Maria Lani Yelk O'Connor. Yeah, Swedish? 
I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. 88% guessed that Lady Gaga was born this way. Stephanie, Joanne, Angelina, Germanata. Yes, we knew that one. 89% got the California girl's name right, matching Katy Perry to Katherine Elizabeth Hudson. She had to change it because we already had a Kate Hudson, right? True. And lastly, 79% guessed Iggy's fancy name is Amethyst Amelia Kelly. Nice oh my work gosh. on that. Yeah, and nice work, everyone at home. So, Michael Willett, is that your real name? It is, but I do have four names. What is it? Michael, James, Mansell, Willett. Mansell, I love Mansell. You know my first name is James. Oh, really? Look at us. We're, We're like coming. related or something yeah. like that. All right, it's time to check in with Chelsea, our charming official arcade host for the latest. Thanks, Lance. You guys, this is our last week before the 2014 AMAs, and here is your final chance to get involved with Coca-Cola's 2014 Arcade. Now, the Arcade is a new, fun, quirky, and interactive part of the red carpet brought to life by Coca-Cola, and you can participate to create the Arcade by tweeting each week on different categories. This week's category is, drumroll, Coca-Cola Polar Bear robot or shimmy. Choose the dance you want the polar bear to do with hashtag arcade sweepstakes and at Coca-Cola for a chance to win a trip to the 2015 AMAs and a $500 Visa gift card. Now, during the Coca-Cola Red Carpet Live, I'll be asking you questions in real time from the arcade, so be sure to follow me on Twitter at Chelsea underscore Briggs. And don't forget to tune in live on November 23rd for the Coca-Cola Red Carpet Live and see your work. You guys, we're so close. See you there. Michael, it has been real hanging out with you, my friend. How can everyone stay in touch with you? You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Willett, M-I-S-T-E-R, Willett, and you can download my new song, Start It Over. It's so good. Go download it right now. And I hate to say it, but next week is our last episode. I know, don't cry, my little peanuts, but don't miss when we finish our countdown to the biggest night in music, the 2014 American Music Awards, November 23rd on ABC. We'll catch you next time. Bye.